dudes! Welcome to another episode of the Bullshit Show. I'm Dad. That's Nathan. Hi. And that's Chris Hemsworth. He's our new co-host. Well, fine. Fuck. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. I, you guys are sick of me talking about Trump, so I'm just going to say a few things and move on. Um... I think he's boxed in. He's starting to panic now. He's calling for the Mueller investigation to be terminated. And he's got Mr. Magoo working on it. I think it's the signs of a desperate man. Nixon did the same thing when, when the news started to close on him. The so-called Saturday Night Massacre, where he fired his Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General, and because they were getting close. It's um, it's going to be interesting here in the next six months. Maybe we're witnessing the beginning of the end. One can hope. One can hope. That's for sure. Um, Facebook is going to institute a new policy, a new uh, option where you can set a timer. They <coughs> did that today. They yeah. did that today, yes. Instagram's doing it too. Instagram's doing it as well. Supposedly to help limit your addiction to Facebook, but nobody's going to use it, and it doesn't automatically shut it off. All it does is tell you how long you've been on it, which that's what a clock is for, I thought. That's what the little clock at the top of the thing always, I used it for or my watch. Um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting that, that Facebook is doing a half-assed attempt to address a problem that people have pointed out. It's um, kind of like our government, you know. They do everything half-assed, enacting policies that aren't going to work. Uh, oh well, that was another Trump slam. Um, Damn, mini dab. We gotta, we gotta make that a thing, people. Mini dab, mini dab. Um, Zimbabwe had an election. I was having an election all this week. Uh, Robert Mugabe is stepping down because he's a corrupt bastard, kind of like Trump. And um, so far, the uh, the government-backed party is, is winning. They're about to de declare victory. But today, violence broke out. Three people were killed. That's what's going to happen in our election, I think, is violence is going to start breaking out. And people are going to die in November trying to vote because the fucking Republican assholes are going to get violent. Remember, they're the ones that want guns. It's going to get ugly. Mark my word. Oh, don't forget those 3D printed guns. And the 3D printed guns, yes. Which, fortunately, a judge got smart and blocked it. But they're already out there on the internet. If you want to find them, you can. You don't have to wait for this website to put them up. So, that's a scary thought. That, And they're pretty slick looking guns, too. The, the handguns look kind of dorky. And I wouldn't trust them. I, I would be really scared to fire one because there's a lot of velocity that comes out when a bullet's fired. Even a small caliber bullet, like a 22, I think could backfire and and pop out and blow your hand off. I I personally wouldn't use one. Yeah. But um, but I'm not a terrorist or a school shooter, so. Um, I suppose there's a market for that. What did you say? Sadly. Sadly. We continue to get raped anally by MoviePass. Um, not just us, all of their customers. Fortunately, it's not just us. Or for we, once. For once. But MoviePass has now decided they're going to raise their rate, which they haven't told us yet officially. It just popped up in the news 
and now they're severely limiting the movies you can see and the screening times you can choose. We were going to go to a, it's about eight o'clock on uh, Wednesday, the first of August. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Yes, Hump Day. Hump Day. Um. But anyways, we were going to go to like a 7.30 movie, but there were no show times available on MoviePass. The only times available were 10 o'clock show times, which we're, we don't care. We stay up late, so we'll go to a 10 o'clock. There's fewer people in the theater and um, less people to be obnoxious and talk at the screen. And wear glow shoes and, and have jingle, glow sticks and jingle their and keys. jingle their keys and eat skittles. <sighs> I hate going to the movies, people. people. I enjoy the experience. I like seeing a movie on a big screen and in some big, nice, kick-ass surround sound. But I hate dealing with the infantile mentality of the people who go. People, you're not in your fucking living room. There are other people around. And who paid just as much as you did? Well, well, we paid enough. We, as far as the theater concerns, we pay full price. So we are legitimate customers. If MoviePass doesn't pay, then that's MoviePass's problem. Fuck them. So I cry bullshit on MoviePass once again, reaming their customers. I think there's going to be a ton of them that are going to start quitting now. Especially now they're going to jack up their oh, price. But don't forget, if you cancel, you have to wait nine months before you can get a new account. You just fucking put in a new username, that's all. What are they going to do? Fucking go through their cookies and... Yeah. And find out that you were... Yeah, probably. But anyways, talking about movies, give us an update on James Gunn. Uh, so the other day... Uh, the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy put out a... Well, no, it was just in general because... Okay. Because Michael Rooker even signed it and he did. <laughs> oh. But, uh... They put out a, a joint statement saying, basically, he's a good dude, don't let this uh, ruin his career or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, last and they I, want him back. Yeah, they want him back. And last I heard, the rumor is he might actually be coming back. Although, I have to say, uh, shout out to Carson for pointing this out. Karen Gillan's signature is literally just squiggles. <laughs> yeah. She's too busy having orgasms when she's writing. Because she's constantly in a state of orgasm. She's hot. Okay. But on the same note, though, I cry bullshit on the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because they're being pussies. Uh, I wouldn't say that too loud. They're right behind you. Yeah. Because if they really, truly were going to support James Gunn, they would strike. I mean, it costs, oh my God, on a movie that size, probably a half a million dollars a day if you were to lose a shooting day. All they got to do is have each one call in sick on the day that they're scheduled and fuck up the shooting schedule. They could, do, they could do so much more if they were really serious about this. This is just a typical Hollywood half-assed, again, kind of like the Trump administration, half-assed. It's a half-assed protest. If they were serious, they would strike. But that's just my opinion. Speaking of movie pass, we did see a movie this week. We managed to manipulate the system and make it work in our favor. We saw Mission Impossible 6 Fallout. Um, it was good. Yeah. It wasn't great. I expected a better movie. I thought the first half or even two-thirds, was kind of boring. There was a lot of talking. It was just... And that just from the people behind us. Yeah! <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. But, um... Do -do -do. But, um... 
But, um, um, but the action was kick ass. Tom Cruise was kick ass. I can't believe somebody who's older than me was doing that shit. He busted his knee. <laughs> his ankle. Shut up. It wasn't his knee, it was his ankle. He hit it like this. He jumped like a fucking fairy. He hit his knee. Yes, he hit his knee, but he broke his ankle. Well, if you hit your knee, you're gonna hurt your knee. And then if then you'll break your ankle. Because the knee Tom, you have call us and set this little shit straight. I'm sorry, Tom, that I'm taller than you. We all are. He's a short motherfucker. You know, Tom Tom Cruise is just kinda like, hey guys, what's going on? Hey dudes. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm Tom Cruise. Hi. Hi, I'm Tom Cruise. Yeah, he's not real impressive when you meet him in person. Oh fuck! <laughs> Many you, you okay there, Junior? <laughs> I'm stuck. Many moons ago, I worked on a, one of his first movies with him called uh, Color of Money in Chicago. He's he's short. He's a muscular little shit, but he's uh, tall, not very tall. And uh, There were some cool car chases in your movie, though. Yes, there were some cool car chases, some cool motorcycle chases. Uh, the helicopter chase I thought was really cool. Um... Once the film got going, it took off. Henry Cavill didn't need a fucking mustache. He could have shaved it. No, he didn't need a mustache. And he really needs to learn how to act. Especially in scenes where he was with a large group. Particularly at the beginning when he did that first scene that he's in. Yeah. He's very stiff. He, um... I don't know. I watched The Tudors and I thought he was good in The Tudors. I, I haven't seen any of the Superman movies, so I don't know if he's any good in those. <laughs> DC sucks. Yeah, DC sucks. So, although I'll admit, Aquaman looks okay. Yeah, Aquaman looks like it might be cool. And I, I might actually see Shazam. Shazam's kind of looks kind of cool. I don't know anything about it. Some of the shit that came out of Comic Con. Comic Con was really boring this year without Marvel. Yeah. Really? Oh well. Where are we at? Uh, 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 I can't get up. Uh, twelve and a half minutes. Twelve and a half. Okay, we can talk a little bit more about it in like six. But uh, um, there's some trim. Yeah, Michelle Monaghan didn't need to be in the film. They didn't need to resurrect the character of his former wife. She added nothing to it. Except to hold some wires for Ving Rhames while they were trying to defuse a bomb. I have never seen any other ones, so I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, it helps if you at least seen the last one, Rogue Nation. Or no, Ghost Protocol was the last one, wasn't it? No. I can't remember. I don't know, I just know he hung I think off Ghost Pro I think Ghost Protocol was the last one and Rogue Nation was the one before it. Because I, I saw Rogue Nation, but I did not see Ghost Protocol. I think it would have helped. Um... Was that other Especially movie? to explain the opening shot of the film, his dream. The wedding? He was dreaming. Oh. The wedding. Oh yeah. Um, his fantasy about that. And you needed to know of, about his past with Ilsa, which would have helped. But. And then, and then there was that other bitch, the. The, the White Widow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Um, Vanessa Kirby. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. Very hot. Look up the naked pictures of her on the internet. She's hot, man. She's totally hot. Um, let's see here. I'll read some comments from the last episode. Remember to to like the show and send in your comments. We like comments. And we need you to send us stuff. People used to send us stuff. We have one person sent us stuff. Well, we got those, that really cool comic that somebody drew. A picture of you. <laughs> that was hilarious. You can email me at camera1129. I'm missing Big Brother for this bullshit. At yahoo.com. And I'll tell you how you can send us shit. Somebody wants to send us a big crate of fucking Twizzlers. Yeah, we could use that. We could use that because we don't have any food in the house. I could use a 12-pack of Sprite. A 12 pack of Sprite, yeah. But candy, we like candy. For those of you that like hay foods, you should donate gift cards to other places other than Taco yeah. Bell. Yeah, exactly, like Chick-fil-A or something. 
Oh shit, my iPod just crashed. Do you have a comment that you can call yeah. out? Yeah. Uh, Nathan does not look amused. No, it was 4 o'clock in the morning when we did the last show. So. Actually, it was 3 a.m. I had woken up like 10 minutes before. Yeah. I'm tired now, but I'm doing He doesn't look now. amused either. He's uh, never amused. He's, a, he's kind of a lump. Um, Go funny as hell, right? And write about politics, bro. Yes, this is true. I think I'm right. That's why I babble about it so much. Uh, um, have you heard about Sasha Baron Cohen's Showtime special, Who's America? Who's that from? We gotta read the name. Uh, Death of the Pilgrims. Oh, Death of the Pilgrims. Konnichiwa. Um, yes, I have heard about it. I've seen scenes from it. It's, it looks hilarious. Um, All I know is it pissed off Sarah Palin. So. Yeah, anything that pisses off Sarah Palin is good in my book because she's a cunt. Uh, let's see here. Um, for Farquhar Engine. I saw Incredibles 2 and I'm going to see Mamma Mia 2 tomorrow. Have you guys seen those films yet? That's what we're going to do tonight. He's going to see Incredibles 2 and I'm going to see Mamma Mia 2. Um, also, screw you, Nathan. Calling all engines is great. <laughs> Bullshit, Jacob. is a piece of shit. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Yes. Yes. My dry spell is over, people. Who is that dedicated to? Who should I dedicate that one to? Who's that production company we were supposed to dedicate one to a long time Ten ago? Tenth Media. I Tenth Media. That one's for you. I, I promised you I'd give you one. I haven't farted in many shows. But my bunger's working tonight, so... Um... Let's see, Sudbury Railway Studios. That was funny, dudes. That's why we do the show. Um, let's see, Joe Winkler. Thanks for your, your comment. I think he's a virgin to the show. Amazing commentary. Coming back next time for sure. Well, hopefully you're watching this, Joe. Um, let's see here. From Digit. Ha ha, glad you guys answered. I love photography, mainly nature and scenery pics, mountains, etc. Another question. When did you start Hey Dudes and how did you come up with the bullshit show? We've answered this question many times, but it, it sprung out of the Brony Con, Cron, Brony Con vlogs that he did. And we were shooting in the hotel room and... and Baltimore it was Baltimore, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Baltimore. And I happened to be laying on the bed in the background, and he panned over to me, and I went, "Hey, dudes, with your shirt off." With my shirt off, which is ironic because you've never done an episode with your shirt off. No, no, I've always had a shirt on, but I, I'm naked from the waist down. For you newbies that don't know uh, this, I've always done the show with no pants on, got a minute and, a half and no underwear. Before. So. I am naked. That's why that fart sounded so good, because I had no, nothing to impede it. Yeah. But anyways, so, somebody said we want to see more dad, so we did, we did a test. If you go back and look in the history, the, the episode one was only like six minutes long. It was just a test. Mm -hmm. And people seem to have liked it, so we kept doing it. Because it got like a thousand views. It got like a thousand views. Yeah, it was outrageous. I wish we could get those kind of views now. Yeah. We can't, can't seem to break 500 anymore. But, so that's how I got started. And we've just been doing it ever since. People seem to respond to it. Here's the last one real quick. Last comment from Extrogit. E-X-T-R-O-X-G-T. You are hot. A buffet even. I want to ravage your cute butt. <laughs> Uh, if that's a chick, I'm down with it, man. All right. If got it's a dude, seconds. okay, maybe I don't know. Thirty <laughs> seconds. Okay. Well, we'll wrap this show up. It's been great talking to you all. Um, send us comments. Make sure you hit like. And those people who dislike the show, fuck you. Until next time. Hey, dudes. Yeah.